once again to Bravo Studios. Um, in my other video, I demonstrated how to create this chamber for a clock mechanism. And I promised continuing um, so that we complete in building a handmade wooden clock. Today, I'm going to take you through the final process and how the is going to turn out. So, what we will be needing for this episode is once again our clock mechanism that I've already demonstrated. We need a plier, we need our clock mechanism, and then there are options here. When it comes to the, the surface, you can also use a template. Usually, I use a template all the time because. When it comes to time you need to get it right so you can just go onto the internet and get a template like this in any design of your choice so you trace out the template with a carbon paper on the wood and then you can in other video um, youtube shots that i demonstrated i actually used a pyrography tool like this to actually burn out the numbers for the time you can also do that. You can also get yourself maybe seashells to just indicate the hours. There are a lot of options available. But in this particular case, I took this to the etching machine to get it etched because this is for um, a certain project in church. So I actually took it to the etching machine. So when you look at it closely, you can see that it's been neatly etched. But there are other ways around it, as I've already said. You can, pyro you can use the pyrography tool to burn it out. You can use any other material to get your minutes and hours and seconds. There are a lot of options there. So once we have our chamber already for the clock mechanism, and once you've used your template to get the hours and minutes right, the next thing is to drill a hole. As you can see, I have drilled a hole, um, um, which is um, almost a hole in the middle of the 12, the 6, the 9, and the 3. There is a hole here where I can easily slot in my clock mechanism. So I'm going to just slot in this clock mechanism and then we'll put in a battery to see how it works. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to do now. So I'm just doing the assembly. And at this stage, you need your pliers just to tighten it. And then you put your your R your your R handle comes first, and then followed by your minute handle, and then your second is the last. Okay, viewers, so this is how the finished product is. As you can see, we are done with our clock. Um, I have decided to leave it as natural as it is. Vanishing is a preference. You can decide to use any vanish of your choice to vanish the, the finished clock. But I've decided to leave it like this. So thank you so much for staying with me in building a wooden a handmade wooden clock remember to subscribe to bravo studios on tiktok facebook and instagram is bravo studios and art gallery um, thank you once again and we'll be doing a lot of work or a lot of things together thank you bye bye for now